Good evening and welcome to the John Report. I'm John, here's my report. An astronaut from the Johnson Space Center in Houston came and visited a Woodenville grade school last week after an eight-year-old boy wrote a letter requesting the visit. Taking a cue, a number of other eight-year-old boys sent letters to Cindy Crawford. <laughs> the, the Bellevue Art Museum is currently showing an exhibit called The Beauty of Painted Glass. The Monroe Art Museum has an exhibit titled The Beauty of Glass Jelly Jars with Cartoon Characters Painted on Them. <laughs> Well, CBM Creative Chocolates won a small business award this year for their work making chocolates in the shape of Seattle landmarks. They plan to expand to Bellevue next year when they start working with white chocolate. <laughs> Van Vancouver, B.C.'s new NBA franchise was going to be called the Mounties, but a marketing survey showed that that name was not appealing to American consumers. The team is now considering a more marketable nickname one which would include the words cold filtered. <laughs> President, President Clinton praised Starbucks this week for their enlightened health care plan. He also wanted to know when they were going to bring back that naked mermaid. <laughs> Boeing has tried but failed to lease a European Airbus to show it to its employees. The rental agreement fell through after Boeing refused to pay the $10 more a day for collision insurance. <laughs> Well, Tacoma's KSTW Channel 11 is making some big on-air changes, including a new news set and other improvements. They still won't have a helicopter like the Seattle stations, but they are getting a really cool Taurus. <laughs> Finally, Tanya Harding autographed pictures of herself last Sunday in Portland for $35 each. If you wanted both front and side views, it was $50. <laughs> this has been the John Report. Thank you. And we'll be right back.